hello, this is not a spring chick, the bikinis are. And one of the things that you might notice is that sometimes I look heavier and sometimes I look lighter, sometimes I look like I'm in better shape and other times I'm not. Well, a lot of you are familiar with women have just have that time of month, right? And they may have um, weight fluctuations because of bloating or not bloating or, you know what I mean, things like that. But one of the biggest challenges in the entertainment industry is consistency, okay? Now, of course, we'd all like consistency to be younger, trimmer, fitter, right? But it doesn't always work like that because different things um, will cause changes. For example, and you've always got, I always think about this, you know, like singers or something like that, where they're on tour and they're going to, from city to city. And one city may be at a higher altitude, have more of, you go, what in the world? Yeah, it can make a difference. Um, some of them have, may have higher humidity, um, so you might have problems with sinuses, and as a singer, yeah, that makes a difference. And I know, like for me, I'm more susceptible when it's even gets hot or too cold. And you know, and there's actresses that I know that if they feel a little bloated or they just don't feel that great, they won't go out to events because they're not going to show their best. And that goes with actors as well as actresses, because when they go out, because right? they're going to an event, the bowl size it, which is another reason why people always want to get those, is it those, those paparazzi shots of the people just out and around, thinking that, oh, they're going to catch them looking a little bit different, or they're going to catch them in a hat, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of them don't even go out of the door unless they're ready to be shot, or sometimes, oh, can we say this? They do call the paparazzi to let them know where they're going to be. <gasps> Would they do something like that? Mm -hmm. Another thing, um, which I which I always think about is you know because I talk we talk to people all the time and they talk about what we should and they're like oh you shouldn't be kidding yeah and I, when I tell them that every day I go to work well, actually every day I have to be able to go in front of the camera in a bikini and all of a sudden they look at me and it's like this newfound respect because for example a lot of the actresses. Well, don't want to be in front of the camera in a bikini because they get a little bit self-conscientious. As you know, I'm in front of the bikini, in front of the camera, all the time in a bikini. So you kind of get to see me as I am from one day to the next. But it also gives you newfound respects, like for um, Kiefer Sutherland, 24, which is all ha supposed to happen within a 24-hour period. Because, oh, yeah, the movie was not all shot within 24 hours, but it also means. Everybody that's on that show has to look like they did from the last scene, whether it's male or female, whether you're bloated or not bloated, or your hair color or the hair length, all of that. Oh, and what would happen if they got, I don't know, like acne on the, I mean, you know what I mean? That's where the makeup comes in, because there's that consistency in look, consistency in appearances. So, can I tell you? not always the easiest, but I guess part of it is, is this is me, okay, from a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's just like that. So that's, maybe that's why I'm just so, let's just say, this is unscripted, okay? So you get me like I am. It's not, I'm not a talking head. I'm not just standing there like reading the script going from day to day to day. down, all around, but you know what? There's always a few things that you can do. Um, shall we tell them the tricks? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. some of the things that we do, we know. Okay, here's some of the tricks to look bikini ready for shooting. <laughs> or to, to keep you more your size. One is um, wear loose clothes, because if I happen to wear pants or something that binds, when I change, then I will have lines because I welt and bruise very easily. Number two, firming gel. Yes, thank you very much. Helps tremendously. Mm -hmm. We have um, a couple of different ones that I have that are favorites. One is by Palmer's, which works all the time. It's which you can't get anymore. It's really difficult. You can if you order it from them, I think. But. Um, yeah, and another one is by a company called Adonia. It's A-D-O-N-I-A. And that one is actually intended for, it's a seven minute cellulite cream. Um, that's more intended, I think, for the legs, although you can use it for the abs too. 
but it will help tighten it up very, very quickly. So those are two things that will help in front of the camera. Um, let's see what else will help. Colonics? Yeah. I know, and some of you may not like that. Um, wraps? Yeah, which we will be doing on her next week because we're we got to get her ready for some fashion stuff. So. The sauna slash steam room, because they're both kind of in the same category, right? Uh, drinking lots of warm liquids because the warm liquid doesn't stay with you. And they go through you. And my favorite, of course, is chocolate. Yeah. Yes, dark chocolate. Which is basically, if you go, go to your history books, they used to cover themselves with chocolates. You know, the, the, the chocolate was more than just a royal dish. It, they, they would cover their body in a chocolate and they say, well, that's an, you know, an aphrodisiac thing. No, aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac. No, it tightens the skin up, folks. It's a quick method of tightening your skin. We actually did a video on that. <laughs> it was too hot and sexy to be shown. But no, it does work. You put it on before you go something. But there's a trick. You need to add whipped cream to it. Yeah, I know. I was telling some people about this the other day. They're looking at me and I'm going, yeah, it works. And they're thinking of it more of a sexual thing. No, it, no. it, it works to help tighten you up. And then what, what, and what happens is if you put your, like your skin against skin, it will stick because yeah. the chocolate's um, drying. So to help unstick it. You add a little bit of whipped cream as you're doing it, but it is the most unbelievably fast method to tighten up your skin and it also cleans all the pores out at the same time and the other and it does taste good yeah you know, because it drips all over you um, yeah but no it the is. Other part is it's not really that expensive my favorite is the Hershey's dark chocolate and it works well and it's not because there's other ones that are just uh, flavored they don't we don't want the flavor you need chocolate to yeah. make it work right. um, the Hershey's chocolate I like the dark chocolate better than the regular chocolate and I don't know if it's kind of psychological because dark chocolate's supposed to be better for you yeah but you know somehow I think it maybe works a little bit better no, but people okay because we can't actually show you the chocolate being put on we can actually though show you what she looks like before the chocolate being done one of these days now they probably after. want to see me with the chocolate being put on. i know but we did that and they basically didn't they thought it was improper to put on on things because remember folks the internet is far more conservative okay the more left the country turns the more conservative it becomes so which people have not understood. No, but it is it is an absolute perfect thing. To, if she needs to be tightened up real quick, she can get covered in chocolate. And when it's after the shower, which we really got to have a shower. This is not a bad. You have to have a shower and towels. Yeah, and lots of towels. And you basically have to go wash everything. You see, so this is this is called it. Okay, how unsexy is it? It's a team event because you got to have somebody getting those towels in the machine and washing them as quickly yeah, as can be because this, the chocolate will stain them if you don't get them clean real quick so this is it is not sexy if you're sitting there you know troweling the stuff on making certain that every part is covered and uh, and then you know you've you got to get the hair up so it doesn't get messy then you have to well, make because otherwise you get chocolate all in your hair and you yeah. gotta clean your well you gotta clean your hair and, and you gotta body. have somebody timing it to make certain that the dries out totally. Then when it's dried, you gotta okay basically you do, it's a bad thing. You have to do it in the bathtub because the bathtub is bigger. Then you have to get out of the bathtub, you mess up the floor going across the floor to the shower. Then you get in the shower and you clean you wash it all off and because it's hard you're using a wash rag to help clean it off. That rag has got chocolate in it. You've got, uh, then you get out, you're going to have chocolate on you anyway. You're well, gonna part get, of it is you do make a royal mess. It makes a major mess. But it really is a, it's something that works in a matter, uh, between the time it, it, it starts to put it on and it dries, you've basically tightened your body all up. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it can be as cheap as, a, what is it, $2 to do a tightening job? it's $2 for a bottle. Yeah. And I know when I've used it, it's like, you could probably use it for three times, four times for yep. one bottle. Yeah, and it, it works. Which it, is really fast. And, well, you can use it on your body later. You can use it for hot fish Sunday. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the whole trick. <laughs> or for chocolate milk. Yeah, chocolate milk. It's got, oh, I do have one word of advice, and that is if, if you have it at home and it's in the refrigerator, make sure you take it out and adjust to room temperature beforehand, because otherwise when you put it on, it's really cold. Mm -hmm. What to do 
Uh, here's another tip for that. Take it and put it in um, a pan, not with boiling water, but hot water, and it will soften, it will make it more fluid, and it won't be as cold. You just set the, the solid container in there. It's not going to you know, do anything, but that's how it works, because it's just, like, this is one of our secrets, folks. I mean, you'll see you're sort of loose, and then what you know it's dark it, it's got to be the same time because the shadows and everything are the same on our on our side screen it doesn't look the same it's got to be a different date no she well, basically did the chocolate thing because she's got to go somewhere because part of it is, is i can film yeah all during the same day and the body will change because well as i get as we film more and i get more tired <laughs>